Good evening, and thank you for joining us on this Monday, the 18th of May. Governor Ige is extending the state's 14 day mandatory quarantine for all airline passengers through June 30th. This, as we're seeing more passengers arriving in Hawaii daily. Several leaders say taking someone's temperature is not enough to screen for the virus, and they're initiating a plan to help reopen the economy. Nikki Shenfeld reports. We've seen many arriving passengers disobey the state's mandatory 14 day quarantine. Now, Congressman Ed Case and Lieutenant Governor Josh Green want to utilize rapid COVID 19 testing on all passengers coming to Hawaii. State leaders say rapid testing could help fast track reopening Hawaii's economy. I have talked to some of the airlines. They are listening. Uh, they understand that they have to participate in some kind of pre board uh, testing for people to feel comfortable getting on their planes and for us in Hawaii to feel comfortable that they, the people that are visiting us are, are, are going to be you know, safe. Case wrote a letter to the FAA on Wednesday asking if it's possible to do. In the letter, he states on site rapid testing is now required by international airlines such as Emirates on some flights. I think people understand that this is a this makes sense. It's much better done in advance rather than, you know, rely on a broken quarantine. Case says it would be up to the airlines to enforce and they would deny boarding to any passenger with a fever or who tests positive. Lieutenant Governor Josh Green's Travel with Aloha program suggests similar testing. People coming to Hawaii would be tested 72 hours before they plan on flying. If the test comes back negative, they wouldn't have to undergo the 14-day quarantine. Legally, you can't force someone to get a test, but you can quarantine them. And the stronger we are on our quarantine protocols, the more, I think, uh, the more cooperative people will be when they go through this. He plans on speaking with big pharmacies like CVS and partnering with them so people can get a test done quickly and simply before coming to Hawaii. Uh, this is kind of the, um, the holy grail, if you will. Knowing that people are negative before they travel to your state makes everybody feel reassured. Congressman Case asked the FAA to respond to his letter by Wednesday. We'll follow up with any response. Nikki Schoenfeld, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Maui police are looking for an